Now, as you see, we've got that exclamation mark on yellow. Very little ink in there. That's going to be the next color we're going to shut off the ink monitor for. Okay, now we've got the X on the yellow. So now let's go up to the printer. You can see the pause light is blinking. Hold it in. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Let go. Light's going to go off. And the printer's going to start to print again. Now, so far we've done magenta. Now we're doing the yellow. Now when you have our continuous ink system and you're using the Canon chips or our new COC chips, that's how simple and easy it is. And once this is done, you don't have to worry about opening the top, taking out the plug, taking the cartridge out. It makes it a lot easier. Okay, now you can see I got the question mark. Now I can go up and hold the pause button, and that will shut off that color, and that won't show up in the ink monitor anymore. Once they all go that way, then you can continue to print with absolutely no problems. There you go. You got to see it blinking. Hold it, on. hold it down. Hold that uh, pause button. It'll stop blinking. Let go. Now whatever was printing will start to print again. As you can see, I'm printing solid yellow this time. Now you don't have to do this, you know, print every, all these colors. Over time, as you're printing along, then you can go ahead and shut off each color at a time. I just did this to show you to speed it up a little bit. But this is the um, IP4820, one of our test printers. And look at the coverage we can lay down using our new system. Solid color. And that's how you show off the ink monitor in a cannon. Now this is printing a solid color. This, our new continuous ink system with our backflow dampers and now our COC chips just prints awesome. Solid color. Now you don't have to print solid colors. Just normal print. Then as you get the code come up with the question mark, press the pause button. That shuts that color off. This is uh, how you do it with the IP series. The one we're using here is our test printer, is the IP4820. We own every printer that we sell a product for.